So one week ago guys, I made a video all about Blockstrap for Roblox and if you didn't see that video, Blockstrap is pretty much this third party software that allows you to add mods to Roblox and it also allows you to restore some old features. Stuff like the old oof def sound, that was pretty cool, you can bring that back. Things like old avatar movement sounds, old menus and it doesn't just restore old features, it also lets you add mods. So you can apply different lighting settings to games, you can apply FPS unlockers. Pretty much guys, if you haven't seen my video from last week go and check it out like i was saying blockstrap is a really good piece of software and in this video guys we're going to be checking out the custom themes option now i did cover that briefly in my previous video but i didn't show you how to customize themes because i thought that kind of deserved a separate video pretty much you may have seen me select an option and i was able to open up the desktop app and i got the old roblox mobile theme back and it looked pretty sick so yes in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make your own custom theme now i just want to say on this app avatar editor it's not going to work it only works on the desktop apps avatar editor which is still kind of cool you know if you wanted to show it off to your friends if you wanted to use it in youtube videos or tiktoks or use it for taking screenshots then yeah it's pretty useful for those kind of things so i'll tell you what guys before i show you how to make one let me show you what my custom one looks like i did make my own i'm kind of happy with how it turned out it does look pretty awesome so yeah let me show you quickly so here we are on the windows desktop app which not gonna lie normally i I don't like however in this case is kind of cool because if I go over to my avatar here you guys can see I've got a custom theme if I just double click my avatar you can see this is what I've made now it looks like it has glitched up a bit there but I could always fix it as you can see I've got some raining theme on I've got Jason I've got a creepy old log cabin I've got some trees yeah I don't know why that bit's gone gray maybe I made it a bit too large hmm, not too sure actually or maybe I just position this at a weird angle I guess that's possible anyway I'll tell you what I'll try and make a better one but yeah this is what I just wanted to show you these are the custom themes you can get and obviously this works on the marketplace it works on customize which is obviously the avatar editor and i think they're pretty awesome some people have made some like really cool ones as you can see my one is kind of cool i'll fix that in a sec and um yeah i'm gonna show you guys how you can make your own interestingly enough as well guys the rain sound is working which um i didn't think would actually work so that's kind of cool so if you guys don't have block strap i'll leave a link to it down below in the video's description if you've got any problems with installing it then please go and watch my video from last week because that video is more of like an installation guide i've already covered it so in this video you're watching right now i want to keep this one all about the themes very quickly though if you're just over on the github you can go to blockstrap if you just go to the latest release of blockstrap at the time i'm making this video it's version 2.5.4 which was last updated in november and as you guys can see this is where you get the exe file from so before i make my own theme i just want to give a big shout out to this guy frankie fms I think this guy might be the person that figured it out or at least he's the first person I saw a tweet about it So as you can see with his Roblox character He's got like a cool Wii Sports Resort theme and he's got the same sort of raining effect as me I did think it was cool to add in like a particle emitter or something because it did just look quite nice So yeah, he's got that going on that one came out very nice actually and also big shout out to stable stream Because this guy figured out how to get it working on Mac OS So unlike my previous video where I said you couldn't really do mods on Mac OS it turns out with this one You can it doesn't use block strap but it does use tool blocks so if you guys are running mac which is um probably very few of you to be honest i think most of you guys are on windows right but if you are running mac then um yeah you can go over to this website tool blocks and you can add the custom avatar backgrounds this way i'm gonna link both their tweets down below but yeah this guy's got a full tutorial on mac which is pretty much the same thing it just doesn't use block straps so um yeah so obviously if you've got a mac pc you can go and follow this anyway we're gonna start this video off by going down to the search and you want to search for the block strap menu and as you guys can see for me it's already popped up so we're going to open this next guys you want to go into mods you want to go to use old avatar editor background and make sure to turn that on it might say save for you it might say install if it says install it means you've never used this before and that's fine if it says save then you're like me and you might have tested it out earlier but what we're going to do is we're just going to save it and then the block strap menu is going to close so we need to open it again so again type it in block strap menu go and open this and once it pops up you want to go into mods and you want to go to open mods folder now once you click on that guys you want to go to extra content you want to go on to places and you're going to find this file it's called mobile rbxl now what this is guys is a roblox studio file yeah these background files you can edit them in roblox studio and you can pretty much edit this to whatever you want so we're going to double click on this to open it and then a second now there you go roblox studio should boot up if you guys don't have roblox studio you want to go and install it but the chances are 
far. If you've got Roblox on your PC, you should have it. And when Studio loads, it should be looking something like this. You can just go and dismiss this message. You don't really need to read that. And as you guys can see, yeah, it's the mobile avatar editor map. So it's kind of cool. We can get like a really good look at this map because I don't think I've ever explored this before. I didn't know there was accessories back here. What if we got a golden bling chain, some shades and stuff? That's pretty awesome. Wait, it's the clockwork shades without the clockwork branding on. Wow, never seen that before. So yeah, if you guys want to explore the map and go out of bounds, well, you can do that. But what we're pretty much going to do, guys, is turn this into our own custom map. So I would recommend saving a copy of this to your downloads folder just in case you want both versions so you can like revert to this if you ever wanted to. If you guys just go on file at the top, then just go on save to file as. As you can see, I was saving some of my downloads earlier, but we can call this, let's just call it mobile edit because we're going to edit this right now. So we're just going to go and save it. So seeing as we've got this backed up, we can now pretty much edit it. So if you want to delete the background, select it, press delete on your keyboard, you can get rid of all of that stuff. The only thing you really need to keep is this invisible pole right here. If you go on view and explore it, yeah, don't delete this. It's called alignment. Actually, just so you don't lose it, if you just go on view and properties where it says transparency, if you just put that on, I think it should be zero. There you go. It's going to be red. And that is where your character stands. That's where your character stands on the sort of whole avatar editor thing. So pretty much guys, you want to build around this. So let's see if I can make something cooler. This block in the background, I guess we don't really need that. So we can go and remove that. Oh, one thing I would say though, guys, is make sure you know like your character's facing this way. Uh, if you were just to add in like a part or something simple, can we move that? Okay, if we just use the move tool there. Yeah, so if your avatar's standing here uh, like that, maybe put an arrow on this just to know your character's like facing forward, if that makes sense. So if I go on toolbox, if I change this to, um, let's go on images, maybe I'll just type in um, arrow or something like that. Would that work if we just stick an arrow going forward? Oh, we're gonna have to flip it around, rotate it. There you go. So we just know like that's the direction you wanna be building in. And um, yeah, I guess you guys can pretty much add anything you want. Oh, you might wanna fix the lighting as well. If you open up that and just delete all of these three, um, yeah, it should look a lot better. So let's go on the toolbox. Let's go and find a map. What should we add in? We want to go on models. Uh, we can add in a structure or something. Should we make like the classic happy home? That might be kind of cool. Maybe I'll search it, see if we get a better one. So I'll just type in happy home. Just go and press enter there. The one with the big map's pretty cool. So let's go and add that in. Wow, okay, that was kind of big. I've got to zoom in a bit there. Okay, it did position itself fairly well. Um, so if we just like flip the map around, just like that, actually. Hang on, let me go into model, rotate. There you go, that's a bit better. Select that. So there you go, that's the way we're facing. Then if I just go and move this up a bit, basically we're just gonna move it to where the bottom of this is. I mean, you should be able to move that to be fair, but let me just uh, get that right. So my character will be standing. Let me just move it a tiny bit more. There you go, that's good enough for me. And pretty much guys, we can just like build around this, I guess. So you can add in whatever you want to. If you wanna go on lighting, view properties, you can change it. Uh, you can remove the shadows if you want to. Is it voxel that removes the shadows? I think so. Brightness, you can increase it. You can add some like options here. I don't know. No, just play around with it guys just get it to how you want it i guess you could try that does that look better i don't know i'm really just playing with the settings guys um there you go that's quite nice isn't it that'd do pretty much do whatever you want and um yeah as long as you don't have any spawn points in or any scripts i think it should be fine you can add in like rain fire models i don't know what happens if you add in a virus like that could go insanely wrong i'm kind of tempted to try but i don't know should we add in some rain or something i did add some some rain earlier there was one that was pretty good was it the rain with splashes? Yeah, this one wasn't too bad. This one isn't separate parts though. So um, hang on, I might just need to position that a bit better. Maybe something like that. So for the top part, uh, I'll probably just like scale that out a bit more just so it's raining, uh, you know, everywhere. Just so it looks kind of cool. And the lower part, I guess we can sort of like bring that up because that'd be the um, like splash effect. Oh yeah, so that's like the rain uh, falling on the floor. That's quite nice actually. So obviously you want to bring that down, probably not inside the building though. And again, Again, if you want to scale that out, that's fine. Uh, you can add in anything you want to here, really. Shall I add in like a 2006 guy or something? That might be quite funny. Oh, he's called Starter Character. So I'm just going to rename him just so he's blank and um, we can move him. Where should we put him? Should we put him just like standing here, just lurking at us in the background? Uh, if I just turn off rotate. Yeah, that might be quite funny. He can just be standing there looking at us. If I just move him over there to the side a bit, that might be quite cool. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, guys, you can really play around with this and pretty much do whatever you want. I thought I could add in like a pizza box or something. That might be quite a nice touch. So if I just go and drag and drop that somewhere. There you go. This noob can be eating some pizza. Gives him something to do anyway, doesn't it? So there you go. We'll just drop that there. Uh, if you guys wanted to add in tons of stuff,
stuff. I mean, just go ahead. I think I'm going to keep it like this just for a basic demonstration, but we're going to select this pole in the middle. It's called alignments. We're going to go on view properties. We're just going to make that transparent again, because obviously if it's red, it's going to sharp as red. So put it on one. And um, there you go. If you're happy with that, I think we can go and save it. So that'd be control S on your keyboard. And yeah, I guess we can probably drag and drop this across. So as you guys can see, here it is in my downloads folder. But before I add it across just in the block strap menu, if we just go to mods, use old avatar editor background, it should now be disabled. So go and turn that off and then go and save it. Obviously it's going to close. So let's just open it again. Yeah, it does close every time. So let's just go and start it. So that'd be mods again. Um, as you can see, it's now saved. It's closed. We're going to go on open mods folder. And pretty much guys, we should be able to drag and drop that across. So it was extra content, places, um, mobile. I tell you what, we can actually just delete that. We can get the new one. And if we just right click this and then go on, that would be copy, which is this option here. If you're on Windows 11, back in the same folder quickly, we can right click, we can go on paste. If it doesn't show up for you, just refresh it a few times, and then right click this. We need to rename it. And we're just going to take out the edit part. So no spaces, mobile.rbxl. And that should be fine. Now, if we start Roblox, like the desktop app, I think this is going to work. So obviously on the menu, make sure that's disabled. Make sure you go and save it. And now guys, you want to search for play Roblox. Yeah, search for play Roblox and you're going to want to go and open this. It's the block strap file icon. This should make it work. Pretty much it's going to start. I know it looks a bit strange. And once it loads up, I hope we're going to have our old theme. So, well, kind of old, like 2006, but it's a bit of a mess. So let's go on the avatar editor. And as you can see, it loaded in. Did it load in that pizza thing? Oh, it did. Oh, cool. So you can hold right click to move about. The rain's working. The splash effect is working. I guess you guys could add any particle emitter you wanted to, really. The only thing I should have done, I think, maybe I should have brought up the alignment just a little bit. But yeah, that's what I wanted it to look like. It's pretty cool. The background will always be grey. You can't really change that unless you added in like a wall or something. But yeah, I'm happy with how this looks. And I'm sure some of you guys can make something even cooler than this. So if you double click to get back, um, yeah, I could go and customize. Let's see if I've got like a 2006. There you go. Classic guy. So if I go and select classic guy, there you go. He fits in there. Well, wait, the noobs disappeared. What? Where did he go? Did I not anchor that or something? Wow. Never seen that before. That was a pretty cool glitch. But yeah, anyway, that's how you get custom themes. They're awesome. But there we have it. If you guys add anything crazy like zombies or moving objects or something, send me like a video of it over on Twitter or Instagram or something. I'm curious to see what you guys come up with. Obviously, shout out to the guys that figured this out as well. And um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Well,